prices as well. The Bellhop hat is $21.95. The Tower of Terror purse is $78. And the dress is $98. And it looks like they have sizes extra small, extra, extra large, extra, extra, extra large. So the small, medium, and larger sold out of the Tower of Terror that I can see here today. as well as these ones down here are labeled as lime. So I will find that price and put it in here. And the dress is 118. And once again, they have extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, and 2XL. So a lot more size range on the Tower of Terror. They also have the Tower of Terror Dooney paired with it. So the headband is $14.99, the dress is $98, and I see it in small, ex sorry, sizes, extra small, small, medium, large, and 2XL. Again, a lot of variation in sizing for the Pirates one. And then the Brock Crinoline skirt is $48, and I see that in a large, extra large, or 1 to 3X, so I can the chip bag is $58, completely open top, and the bell dress is 98 and there are two racks of the bell dress, so there are a ton of sizes available. Same with the white crinoline. The white crinoline is 48, same as the black. And again, because of that elastic waist, um, the size variance is like extra small to medium, large to 3XL, so they fit, one will fit several sizes. So I filmed those three sections of the wall displays and I am just turning over to this side of the store and I'm going to get a close up of this whole section here. Also wanted to showcase though that they still have the Beauty and the Beast iconic gift set that includes the rose, the dress, and Mrs. Potts along with the CD and the poster for um, $185 I believe. This dress is 98. These floral headbands are actually not price marked, so unfortunately I do not have the price for those. I apologize. And the mini lace gloves are $14.99. The 
classic mini headband is marked as amethyst. Again, when I find that color coding, I will pop a picture in so you guys can see the prices for that. But they also have it paired with the Mickey, um, I think it's called the body parts duties in this display. This dress is $78. Again, they have it paired with the Juni Small World Collection. This dress is $98. They have extra small, small, extra large, large, and double XL. I realize I didn't say that for the mini and the small world. I apologize. But the, price, the sizing seems to be fairly similar across the board. This teacup hair accessory is $9.99. $9.99. And then the bunny bag, the white rabbit bag, is $65. The white rabbit bag is 65. an extra small, small, large, and extra large. It definitely seems to be that the medium is the one that is most difficult to find, but other than that, the sizing is pretty, pretty well. Um, and again, the white crinoline, these corsages, corsages, or is that the one that the men's pin on? Um, however, whatever it is, the flowers, um, I'm not seeing prices on them, so I don't know if those are display or for purchase, but they do have the orange and pink floral ears paired with these. extra large, 2XL, and 3XL. The headband is $14.95. The pearls are $19.99. And the bag is $29.95. They also have this Teen Up Girl collection that are not Disney brand dresses, but they are still within the pin-up style. So they have this yellow umbrella or carousel print, white with cherries, black with cherries, this pretty green um, corsage, corsage I keep saying, sorry, um, corset and then black, white, and purple stripe. Now these ones vary in price. For example, this one's 140. And the cherry one, this one's 158. This one's 132. So these ones do vary in price. I'm assuming depending on the pattern. This one's 108. They also have skirts available. The skirt selection is definitely depleted, not nearly as many, and they are um, in larger sizes, so double X, triple X, but they are very pretty. This one is 
a castle. Then they also have that pretty like umbrella. It actually says Mary Blair on it, so I think that that is really cool. Again, some more dresses. Last little lane here, there are more pinup collection. Here is a pink, red and white argyle. And this one is 140, little cap sleeve. The model's also wearing a blue, same print, but that one's a spaghetti strap rather than a cap sleeve. And then there's that print as well. We are back in the car from checking out the dress shop at the co-op and I wanted to go over a couple of things um, that we kind of noticed as we were looking around. So the first being if you want to try on the dresses, there are no dress changing rooms in the dress shop. You actually have to go out um, and turn right into Trendy. There's three changing rooms there. The woman also directed us um, if you come out with left in the men's shop what's that called 28 in May I believe mm -hmm. there's one in there and there was a third one but I don't remember that off the top of my head so Jean, um, trying them on is actually not done in that store second being the pinup girl collection clothing when you purchase that that is non-refundable but the Disney collection dresses are that's nice to keep in mind as well um, and the third thing was I actually spoke to a woman named Doris who is the executive director for the pinup girl collection there and she was explaining to me that in her communications with the Walt Disney World executives, they are trying very hard to bring Dapper Day to Disney World. It is very successful in Disneyland. I feel it's pretty successful here too. I have never participated myself, but I know that it is a big deal. And I know last year they even released a pin for Dapper Day. So I do believe it is present in the parks. I think they're just trying to make it more present. Um, but it was really cool to get to speak with her. She was saying that the pinup girl collection was only in that store for this weekend and it will no longer be there. I do believe though that the Disney dresses should be there for, a, I mean, I don't know indefinitely, but I don't think that they're gonna be gone after this weekend. The sizing I did say in the video definitely ranges from extra small to 3XL. Some of them though, the small, medium, and large were gone so it, they would only have the dress like an extra small or 3XL um, so some, the sizing was a little I don't know what the word I'm looking for is just like hit and miss difficult yeah difficult to find thank you um, I loved it that I got my dresses I'm gonna post some um, pictures as well I, my mom did take some pictures of me in three dresses that I tried on that I'm gonna insert into the video um, during those sections so you can kind of see the dress on a body and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so glad I got to go. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye.